Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here, and welcome back to CCD Test Server for EVE Online. So uh, we got the new Typhoon model, uh, which in my opinion looks pretty pretty cool. Uh, but the uh, comparison to the Tengu, uh, I think uh, if you look at the front end here, uh, that one in, is indeed uh, reminiscent of what the Tengu looks like uh, by quite a lot. Except of course it, it's got this cool drone bay right here at the front. And uh, it, it looks a lot more polished than the old uh, Typhoon model, so I definitely like it. Um, we'll take it out in just a moment, but before that, uh, you know, with uh, Kronos being less than a week away, I think we're closing in on, on what they want to do with the build. Uh, the lights here on the Typhoon uh, are still not completely correct. Uh, the two at the bottom, they might be okay, but here we've got this weird light at the front here going straight up vertically. Uh, that's something that they still need to fix. Um, so for this video I, I want to look at some of the other stuff here as well. For instance the new Eden store, it's got a new icon over here. Uh, so if I go over here, uh, yeah let's just have a quick look at this. We've got, oh they change this up a little bit as well here. We've got ship skins or apparel. And if I go for ship skins I can then go for battleships. Ah there we go. So they, this is the the way they are doing the subcategories and if you go for apparel you can go for bottoms, footwear, outerwear, tattoos if you want to and then tops so a lot of stuff alright so yeah honestly this this looks okay uh, the functionality seems to be there now as well and I still have quite a lot of orum so let's say that I want to buy uh, a rock BPC can I do show info on this? No, that's not changed yet. And I can just press buy now. It's going straight into the purchasing process. And then it's in my redeemable items. Now let's see if I can redeem anything from here. Click to initiate redeeming. Alright. Okay, so that's uh, interesting and new as well. Let's have a quick look if I can now drag this to my... Uh, item hanger or something no you can only do go redeem the selected items okay and wasn't there a redeem items tab here somewhere no so that's gone uh -huh, I see how they did this uh, so you actually have to go through the new Eden store and then I can click my redeemable items I can click here to initiate the redeeming and now if I press uh, redeem this it will be gone and transferred over here into my uh, into my items okay uh, well personally I, I do like that it's not uh, inside the inventory window anymore uh, honestly that was like that would be a little bit annoying uh, after a while although it, it was a good reminder if you could not simply drag and drop it in the inventory window uh, then honestly that's not exactly uh, the way I, I would want it and this this feels okay um, and it's workable I managed to figure it out from from just one pass so that's quite all right now let's take uh, let's take this typhoon navy issue out because uh, it didn't just get like a new skin and a new model it also received a warp effect so we'll have a look at that and uh, after that I'll talk a little bit about the last mouse test uh, that we did yesterday uh, which went pretty good on some parts and still not so good on the other parts. So let's uh, warp to like an asteroid belt, warp within 10, have a look at some of the action. Yeah, that, that vertical <laughs> that vertical light here is definitely something that they still need to fix. Uh, but uh, yeah, just look at the front here. When we go into warp, that's going to be pretty damn cool. Let's go. Start your warp, please. And there we go, look at that, the, uh, the, the drone bay closing like that, that's uh, really cool, uh, I like that. And over here on the sides you could see these, um, yeah, these pads moving up, uh, again for like a cooling system. Uh, I would have preferred if, if underneath this we had like some energetic uh, conduits going, you know, just like what we did see with the Talos, I think that would add to it a, a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, it's a nice little effect and uh, I really do like the, the front part here with the drone bay opening up. Now this, this, this light is uh, being a pain in the ass as you can see depending on the angle it, it flickers in and out and sometimes it does weird stuff. 
But here we go, arriving in the belt, and we actually have some rats. And as we get out of warp, it opens back up and discloses. So yeah, pretty cool little effect. Uh, Typhoon Navy issue. Oh, I actually don't have any drones, but let's see if I can hit anything here. At least the cruiser should be doable. Let's align out as well. Fire rapid heavy missile launchers. There they go. At a pretty good rate of fire. Three volleys gone before. Oh, and of course they're at 63 kilometers. That's not going to help much. Do a quick burst of the micro warp drive to approach. Oh, maybe I can actually get rid of these guys. Let's see if I can hit them. Um, but yeah, this ship, uh, I, th I think it looks pretty cool. Um, you can also get like... Alright, it does hit this pretty good. And then let's uh, align back out. And fire here again. There they go. Boom. Actually hits uh, this uh, destroyer rat. That's pretty good. And now here we go, attacking the Serpentis wing leader. And there I go, burning away from the battle cruiser while... Yeah, rockets had a really good rate of fire. I, I've, I've uh, taken this uh, Typhoon into the mass test. Uh, and I really liked how much control you felt like you did have on firing and stuff. Just because of how fast it is. Even with tie die. So yeah, there we go, he's still missing, and two more volleys, I think. Get rid of that structure, come on. And it is gone, so yeah, pretty good stuff. Um, if you're seeing these lights pop, you know, that's really going to be the lights on the uh, Typhoon, so it's not like it's a, a problem with the lens flares. Uh, that's really the typhoon that that is doing some weird stuff anyways let's dock back up here oh misclick stations and dock quick reload you can see here also okay. i think this is different from uh, tq at the moment how the reloading uh, counts off as a, a sphere around the, the module here pretty cool and there we go again we can see how everything changes on the warp this closes and all of this stuff opens up yeah pretty damn cool so while we're heading back to the station uh, the mass test yesterday uh, I thought it went uh, decently well uh, there were actually like 800 people that joined the mass test three full fleets and then there were still people that could not join any of the fleets uh, again we uh, had to assemble at uh, the gate in X uh, over here in FD towards XBV uh, massive jumping uh, from Sinos and guys through the gate. After that we aligned uh, to the boss um, where the three fleets took different warps out, uh, warp outs so you could have a good look at the effect. Unfortunately the sun over there is, is in a very bad position for that uh, to have a good visual look of, of those warps. Uh, but that went pretty damn good. Then we had the, the boss badge itself without any tie-dye uh, or, or very little tie-dye. I was really surprised by uh, how well the server performed despite 800 people shooting a boss. Uh, that went really well. Um, uh, after that, uh, Fleet W, which I was in, had to put up a gate camp in Poitot. The rest warped in and we started the combat. Uh, here, performance-wise, I think it was okay. I could still pull like, like 20 frames per second or something like that. Uh, on the DirectX 9 client, which is what I've been playing with. And I still feel it's a little bit more stable than the Direct, uh, DirectX 11. So I do prefer uh, just uh, using that one as, uh, as my standard for now. Uh, but uh, like after 15 minutes or so in the fight, and uh, this Typhoon Navy issue did pretty damn well. I actually got a few kills there. Um, I tried the warp out and then there were some serious problems with, with the audio. Uh, with crackling in and out. Um, not sure if it was because I tried to warp out or just because at some point uh, the client started to have some serious problems with the audio, uh, but that, that was very noticeable. Uh, we, it was of course also the aim of this mass test because it was uh, identified in the previous ones as well that there were some serious issues with the audio and uh, so I think that for now really the focus of CCP is going to be on, f on, on uh, on finding what the hell is going on with massive uh, fleet fights and the audio crackling in and out constantly 
uh, that was a real problem. Uh, I hope that the mass test will have uh, helped CCP in finding the cause for this, because uh, it's really something that, that they will need to fix um, before uh, they launch Kronos, because it's, it's actually very annoying. I'm not sure if it's related to all the new options we have uh, for um, for the audio, maybe I should I should like do some tests, you know, play around with the sliders a little bit, and maybe one of them is going to cause some crackling or something like that. But uh, it's it's definitely something that was that was noticeable there. Uh, the performance felt like a little bit better than TQ, even in my opinion. Uh, but uh, the audio needs to be fixed. Anyways, that's it for this uh, look at CC, guys. Uh, less than a week until we get Chrono, so uh, remember to put in like a large skill. Uh, for you to train just in case something does go wrong but from here on CC except for uh, a few finishing touches on, on the new models and the audio issues I must say everything is looking uh, pretty damn good thank you very much for watching I'll see you all next time